I'm Rachel and I am artist in residence on Helium's Cloud Dance project. I work with the teenagers who are here in the hospital. It's very much about them having the chance to tell their story. So one day we could be building an ice castle and the next day we could be writing a book or making a film or hiding dolls around the hospital. Cloudlands, in my opinion, is a place to help children to discover their artistic abilities. Cloudlands helps me chill and work out all the thoughts in my head. So afterwards my head isn't fuzzy. It's like when you stand up too fast and you get that head rush, but without the darkness of it. <laughs> steals all my blood and then it brings it around the machine and some things twirl and uh, then it brings it all back in and it's clean magic. If I wasn't on dialysis I would love to have less time to read because I spend a lot of my time here reading and listening to music. I write entries in my diary that I haven't actually caught up on. It's kind of how I pass my time. It's kind of boring. I'd prefer to be at home with my friends, like. Dad gave me the transplant when I was three. For the first three years before that, I was on PD on dialysis. Then in 2013, they took my transplant out and I was on dialysis. Like if my sister were here, she would be bored in 10 seconds and probably would hate it. Yeah. Whereas I like the like calm of it. I was in like the middle room the first time I came in. So like I remember it seemed much smaller then. I don't know why it did, but it did. And then I could just see the light coming out the top of the door of it when I first came in. I don't really put myself to thinking about anything when I have all the um, stuff to do. <laughs> I prefer doing things, so it's kind of at about the two hours I'm like kind of, can I do something now? <laughs> Yes, I do like creating stories. <laughs> They're fun. You can think up a lot of characters about the adventures they do. I really hope I could be sometimes be one of those characters. I'm glad to be a part of Cloudlands because I get more entertained and I look forward to Wednesdays. Writing is probably my least favorite because when I don't have an idea for it, it's really annoying and I have to kind of pluck ideas from somewhere. <laughs> We wrote a story about an ocean fairy. I decided there wasn't such a thing as an ocean fairy, but Rachel was like, no, there must be some way to make her real. So we got a dancer to come in and become the ocean fairy. <laughs> we started with the sirens, right? And because I had learned a good bit on sirens, but then it was like, um, oh, have you heard about yeah. was the undines? And I was like, yeah, yeah. Um, I'll have a look at those and see what those are. I picture the undine like, looking pretty much human, but with fish features, I guess. Now we will tell the story of an undine named Aaron. She spends her days watching both pass by and surrounded by human objects she has collected. Aaron visited an elder called Belise. Belise agreed to help Aaron in exchange for one thing, her ability to speak. 
performing an ancient spell on Aeron, Elise promised her that once she reached land, she would become human. Once on land, she searched for the sailor, but could not find him. She decided to lure him with her song. As an undying, she had a mesmerizing voice that forced people to do her will. She sat on a rock and cried for days until she found that there was no other choice than, to, than for her to return to the sea in the only way she knew how. She turned on the last of her power and slipped into the shallow waves. Slowly the water climbed up her legs, dragging her in to become part of the ocean. Next time you hear the sound of a wave or the creak of a boat, maybe you'll consider that there's more going on than you realise. It doesn't actually mean anything, it just means I won't have these thoughts running through my head because if I get a thought in my head I have to write it down or I'll gonna go crazy. <laughs> it's just running round and round and round. It's like, yeah, but you're not important, you need to go away. But it's like, no, nope, you have to write me down now. In school, you might not be able to express yourself doing things, whereas in Cloudlands, you would probably be able to express yourself doing lots of things. I enjoy just spending time doing it because it kind of helps take my mind off the stuff that I don't <laughs> like. Well, there's the star lady who has the star power. She can fly up and take a star from the sky and she can bring it back down and place it to your cut or your wound and you can, and it makes it get better. There once was a lady who lived in the woods. Her name was Stella, which means star in Latin, and people said that light shone from her. She was known to be a healer, and people didn't need hospitals anymore because of the star lady. She would fly up into the sky and catch the stars with rope or in her skirt, and then fly back down to earth with the stars. If you had been cut, she would press the star against it, and the cut would disappear. If you had something hidden under your skin, she would still press the star to it. So, if it was your kidneys that weren't working properly, then she would hold the star to your skin and it would be warm and then your kidneys would start working again. For the Star Lady project, people heard about my stories because we put a basket in the hall and we put stars in the basket and we asked them to take a star and write a wish on it. So that's how they heard about my Star Lady project. Normally I can't actually place the story together so I'll write down ideas everywhere and then kind of knit them together. I learned that my ideas are mad and kind of cool sometimes, I guess. I've learned a few things so far. I've kind of learned that you, in Cloudlands, you don't have to be just one person. You could be anything. 